Okay, hello fellow YouTubers. I am James T. Coming at you from a location here in Texas and I want to talk to you about my favorite concealed carry pistol. It, it is in fact the Ruger SR9C. Now, if there's any indication as to why this gun is my favorite, the sheer fact that I have two of them might lead to that assumption. <laughs> now, you'll see I have the two-tone with the stainless and the polymer, and then we've got the blue, the blue slide as well. This is kind of a conundrum, and I'll tell you guys about it. When I first, when I got one of these the first time around, my intention was to conceal it. I'm still waiting to get some stuff cleared up before I can get my CHL. It's gonna take two or three more months, and then I'll just put through the paperwork because I already took the class, so we're good to go there. So I haven't been able to carry either of these yet, but I have been able to shoot all my pistols, obviously. So when I asked the guy at the counter, I said, I'm going to be carrying it. What color scheme should I pick? And he said, well, when it comes down to it, if you're going to try to conceal a pistol, why would you want to have something two-tone? It contrasts itself. And I said, that makes a lot of sense, dude. I'm going to buy this one. So I bought this one. I did that over it. Red's gun, uh, Red's range over in Pflugerville, Texas. Um, I bought this one. Now, since then, I've probably put somewhere around, probably about fifteen thousand rounds through this gun. I've shot a lot of ammunition through this gun: steel, brass, hollow point, ball, full metal jacket, anything you can shoot. I've put through this gun, and it has performed flawlessly. I've had one stovepipe that I can remember. I was using some steel Tula ammo, and it was some garbage stuff, and I really don't think it was the gun's fault. I think I might have held it loosely. Otherwise, this gun's never had another issue in that many rounds. So, very important to note. Now, another thing I'd like to point out, and I'm just going to take this gun down really quick, and that, that'll also kind of lend to the ease at which this gun is taken down. I like to use the magazine, uh, because this has to be pushed out now. It's still kind of stiff. I don't, I don't know why. It usually just breaks in much faster, but with all the rounds I've put in through it. So I use the mag and just push it like that. And from there, I just kind of grasp the outside and maybe I'll push it a little bit more. Hold on. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please excuse me. Hold the slide open first. Then push the button. There we go. Alrighty, so, sorry, it's been a long day, I had eight hours of driving today. So you get this pin out here, very simple. Now from here, what you want to make sure you do is you push the ejector down, that's very important. You go, the gun will come apart if you don't do that. So, pull forward, and she's done. Now, what I want to point out here is, mind you, 15,000 rounds, some of them plus P, some of them hollow points, so all kinds of different rounds, right? Look at how minimal damage there is in this in this slot. A um, little bit right here, a little bit right here, and this is just scuffs. They're not digs, they're not deep. It's just parts where the finish has been worn. Back here is a little bit, and then on this piece as well. Uh, on the outside of the frame, none. There's zero scuffs, dings, marks, nothing. Just on the inside where, the, where it's been operating, where the barrel's been sliding, where you know the whole the whole slide's been sliding against the rail here, um, you know, and it, overall it's taken it's taken its run very very well, and I, I can't I can't say it enough as to how well this gun has held up to basically everything I've put it through. Now putting it back together really good, really quick. I'll drop it in there. Just a second. Drop my spring. So, putting it back together. Yellow dog hair on there. Yep, yellow lab. Good job. Most shooters will have a yellow lab at one point in their life. Alright, we'll put the gun back together here. Don't forget, bring the ejector back up. And then, pop it in. Done. Good to go. There we go, there she is. Um, 
very easy takedown, very easy reassembly. Build up nicely. Um, these guns come with 10 round mags and also the 17 round mag. 17 round mags got a sleeve, so the gun, like it almost like a full size gun. I'm gonna tell you what, I hate the sleeve, I hate it with a passion. I don't like shooting a gun with that on there. That's why whenever I get these, I tend to trade them out for these whenever I can find someone that's got one, because for some reason most people like this. It's a compact gun, what the hell you need a big ass ring thing for? Anyway, one thing that I kind of always want to make sure works really well with a gun is the mag release. That the, the Ruger spits it out pretty well. My SIG P6 actually launches magazines out of the bottom, but I've had some guns that are kind of slow coming out, and you know, in a real situation for a reload, you really wanted that thing to just spit itself out. It does that pretty well with this gun. Um, the sights are adjustable. You can ad adjust adjust the uh, elevation here and the windage up here. Um, I've never had to adjust the windage on any of these pistols. The elevation, I've actually never had to adjust either, but it's very simple. Just turn a screwdriver and you're good to go. Um, look at that barrel. I mean, nowhere at all. Very minimal. I mean, there's a little piece right there, but for 15,000 plus, most likely, rounds, very, very minimal wear. It's, I'm quite proud of it. <laughs> um, great gun. I love the safety on this gun. Uh, it's so easy to access, and being that it is... You know, this this gun is intended for concealed carry. You want a very accessible safety, but you don't want to risk the accessible safety, or you don't want to overlook the fact that that safety might get caught up on something and then kind of turn off, and you have a loaded gun that, that could go off any second. Of course, you do have the passive trigger safety here as well. Um, but with that being said, this safety is very flush to the gun. I don't see it really getting caught on anything, especially with the right kind of holster. If you, if you got a piece that just comes straight up here, the right kind of holster would be great. Um, and with that being said, you know, I, I don't see any reason why the safety should get disengaged. And when a time comes when you really need it, I mean, to have a safety that you can manipulate that easy is great. Now, if you look at the back of these guns, and I'm going to cock them both here. Of course, they got safety checked prior to doing this video. Duh. Don't kill yourself. Alright, so if you guys can see this here. See the striker? That striker gets set back there, and when you shoot it, the striker moves forward. Stays forward. Kind of like a bullet indicator. If you have a round in the chamber and it's ready and hot, that striker's going to be back, and you can see that. And the good thing about that is you can see it from the drawn position. When you have it drawn, you can see that. That's kind of in, in, uh, you know innovative to me because even with this big st oh god I hate this thing even with this big stupid loaded went up uh, indicator I mean <laughs> let, let me show you how stupid this fucking thing is. Look at that. That's what it looks like when the bullet's in there and <laughs> it's I hate it but nonetheless you don't see it when you're firing and you know if it's lying on the table I guess you'd want to know so. Um, but you can see that striker from here. You know you're good to go if that striker's present on the back, and that's perfect. Love the sights on this gun. I don't know if you can see them, I'll move it around a little bit. Maybe you, throughout the movement, you'll catch a sight picture here. Uh, great sights, very bright, and they work perfectly for me for some reason. I don't know why, but it's totally perfect. Trigger's probably about two and a half, three pounds from the factory. Uh, it is striker fired. Um, I like the trigger quite a bit. It also has an accessory rail up front. Uh, I know people that put lights up here, lasers, such and such, yada yada. I don't really think any of those things are necessary on this gun. Maybe a light. Maybe. And, I, and that's just because, hey, who couldn't use a light in the nighttime, right? Um, so getting back to this here, um, the, the conundrum that I was talking about earlier is this is not as flashy as this. But this is better to carry because if you sweat a lot, like my big fat ass does, then the sweat, when it hits this blued material, is going to hurt it. It will eventually wear it down. That's where a lot of that holster where we see comes from. Whereas with the slide here, it holds up much, much better uh, in stainless. Stainless holds up better. What do you know? Hmm. Um, but that's that. Uh, this does shoot the 9x19, 9mm Luger, 9mm Parabellum. Blah, 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 lots of different names, same old bullet. Um, 
kind of has some disgusting markings on it. Before using gun, read warnings and instructional manual available for free. Okay, Ruger, thanks. Appreciate that. This gun was pretty until you did that shit. Um, the grips, I liked. Uh, I didn't buy this one new from a store, so I didn't get the back the back thing that I like. This one's got like a little bump on it. But I like that one quite a bit. Um, I think I can just turn this one around maybe even. Let me try it. Let me try it on video for the first time here live. Get a little Dremel tool. That might work. Let's see here. I don't know if it will. Nah. I'm just an asshole. I don't have anything small enough to get in there. Maybe. Hold on. Well, it appears to be working. This is kind of a, a rig job, if you will. Right, let's see if we can get it out. Oh. I don't have the right... Oh, you know what I do? Hold on. I always got something lying around for this shit. But just to show you guys how this works, because, well, I didn't know it existed in the first place. Pull that pin. And then you can slide this baby out. Oh, yeah, there we go. Back to the grip that I liked. Boom. Hasta awesome. That's Spanish for see you awesome. <laughs> um, and now there we go. Now they both are going to fit my hands beautifully. There we go. Two identical acceptance slide Ruger SR9Cs. Now they do make a full size SR9. That would be the size of the one with the extended mag, and I don't really like that in the first place. Um, if you're considering a, a concealed carry option, I would totally consider this gun. Um, I would go with the blued. I think the finish holds up really nicely. I haven't had this one as long, but I have I have tested and tried this one, and I sweat my ass off, and this one's still pretty good. So I'd say go with the blue. And I think it's a little bit more attractive as well. I mean, this is flashy, but this is kind of more classic. Um, don't put anything on the rail, guys. You don't need it. And that'll be it for this one. Thank you for listening. Signing out here from the top secret location in Texas.